Hello everyone, it's me, the Truck Smatter, just being a you and of a Truck Simulator commentary. Um, you join me as we do the 26th episode of the Let's Play series. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. So, um, just before doing this video, I was on Black Ops 2 and it gave me the perfect idea for what to talk about in this video. Um, and I think that I shall talk a little bit slower in this video as well so you guys can understand me. At least I'm going to try. But first of all, before I get into any conversation and stuff, um, I like to get on the road. Um, as you guys know, I do general general checks and other things like that. Um, but I'm also just going to check about what I can pick up, um, what good loads it are. So straight away, there's a Europa trailer. There's a lot of Europa trailers going to cities and places that I've never been to before. Um, and thank God for that, because I have been getting bored of going to the same places. So 37 is the best going to Rostock. Uh, no there isn't, there's a 42 there, but that's diggers, we don't like diggers. Uh, not really, not at the moment, not my slow powered truck. Right, um, free shake toys to Hamburg, Hanover even. It's a new place. Um, I feel like we should travel around, or should we go around the edge? I don't know. Uh, damn it, I hate these choices. Um, both good trailers, 37 euros per mile, that's 38. Uh, both similar price really, 0 0.98, it's 0 0.2 different. Point not too different. Let's go with you know, stuff. I could really click on any one of those and then choose at the actual depot because that just takes me to the same place as either one of them. But never mind. Um, so first of all, let's just do the gen normal checks as you know that we always do. Um, first of all, let's make sure that's fine. Um, but we've got nine hours until we sleep, so we should have plenty of time to finish the delivery. Um, wait for now. Normally we check where we're going, what we're doing, what road we're on, um, and everything like that. But we don't have a delivery yet, so. We can't do that. Um, so once I get on the road, I shall talk about what I uh, have in mind. And it will still be partly, mostly, off the top of my head. It's just a little, sort of... I think of general subjects, overall, not general, overall subjects, and then I don't break it down, I just go with that, and then it's just whatever, whatever I come out with after that. And trust him to have to stop! Yeah, not the best AI driver. My little Volvo. Um, now, in the previous video, I did repaint my truck. I think, yeah. Um, and I asked for your guys' opinions on the colour scheme and everything like that, what you thought of that. And uh, you, somebody said not to change the colour of it because they liked it now. Um, I forgot what I mean. But someone else said to change the colour of it to the colours on my channel, which I also like the idea of. I mean, I quite like the colour scheme here. I think it's a really cool kind of colour scheme. My, my Volvo looks so tiny with that colour scheme though. I'm used to driving a huge MAN, and then I get in this and it's just like... It's a midget truck. So, although it's going to look a lot smaller next to the current side of trailers, for sure. That is just obvious. But, you know, never mind. Um, it's going to be funny to see. And we are going to pick up a trailer any, any minute now, where we are going to go to Earth, I chose. Are you going to, you're going to, you, let him, let me go. Okay. I guess that was sort of my fault, because I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go, and then, oh no, I'm going to wait. And then, oh, uh -huh. Are you going to let me go? Because I didn't want to put, I don't want to push in. So I like to try and go slowly, but at the end of the day, it's like, well, he's going to say, so I might make it, I'm always, I will make it, and then, oh, no, I won't make it. Um, are you going to go then? It's like, no, okay, I am going to make it, because he's letting me go. Right, anyways, um, casually just going like that. Right, anyway, so indicate left, turn left. So it's really laggy in this kind of city, which I kind of like, because it means it's really detailed, but it, it means a laggy, laggy video for you guys. But, never mind, right, now what is the one I'm going for? I've forgotten. It says none of them has been, ah, oh, the one I was going for, I think, has gone. Yeah, I ran out of time. There's now a 38.5 and a 38 going to Hanover. Okay. I think we're going to go Hanover then. I need the money. And it's a curtain decider. I love those curtain deciders. They look brilliant. Right. Everyone, buckle your seatbelts in. We are about to start the ride. So we are over there. Oh, I see. So, well, I'm still trying to figure out why they load the tractors over there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do that. I do that quite a bit. I, I just sort of... Ah! Okay, that was pretty, pretty oh. that was closer than I, <laughs> we're literally on a pallet, whoops, but we didn't crash, so that's it, that's what matters here, right, now let's just hope when I get there, my FPS at the moment is 9, so do you forgive me if I don't get it exactly right, or if it's a bit laggy, it doesn't, it, it oh, okay, I could have reversed a bit more, but I wasn't sure, I never, I never, I'm never sure when it comes to this game, but um, it does not lag, or lag a lot less when I reach the motorways, at least it should do. Assuming the motorways aren't as high detailed as assuming the motorways aren't as high detailed as the city. Now I always talk in a rush. Um just like and, and I think a lot of you know that and a lot of you are like, Liam, slow down. It's like, um Yeah, I try. But it's not that easy to do. But um 
it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> no, but anyways, um, so now that we are about to go onto the main road, I think that I shall start and talk about what I was planning to talk about. Because I have a large subject in my head, which I have already mentioned. Not really a large subject. I can only talk so much about this. But I thought it would cover a video and it would be interesting. Um, not sure about entertaining. I don't really care if it's entertaining or not. But anyway, so yeah. Um, I was playing Black Ops 2 and I was thinking... Well, I don't know. I tend to let my mind even wander when I'm uh, playing Black Ops 2. Where do I go? For oh god, red lights. Uh oh, Claire, oh god. Sorry, I could have stopped, I think. I don't know. I just panicked. I was like, oh no, red light. Let's go anyway. It changed the amber. I was like, maybe I'll make it. And I just didn't really think about putting on my phone on my break. I was like, yeah, just leave. Whoa, glitch. The road hasn't loaded in my... Oh, it's failing to load in my mirror. Well, that's a new one on me. Oh, right, we can go 90 kilometers an hour, so that's all good. Oh, miles now. You know, miles now. Oh, yeah, of course we got our own truck. Wow, well, it's 90 kilometers, so um, 55 miles an hour. So that's basically as fast as my truck will go. Not even that. My truck doesn't even go that fast, I don't think. No, 50. 50 is the speed limit that my truck can go, so that's. I can go 80 kilometers an hour. Not great. Um, but yeah, so my, mon my mind wanders even when I play Black Ops 2. And I don't like it when it does. We've got to go 30 on this bit, but that's only because of the traffic lights, so. We just do that, and then we can go fast again, because I saw the speed limit sign. And I guess it means 90, it says 90. If it doesn't, then never mind, I didn't crash and I get fined. So, well, hey, everyone have a party and have a biscuit. But yeah, um, so I was playing Black Ops 2, and I thought, everyone think, everyone, all experts and stuff, blame games for the violent people of today. Like, they, they obviously they can't blame this. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm just going to... Blame ETS 2 for being a violent game. All the truck drivers out there are way too good because they're all playing ETS 2 at the same time. You have to stop them playing ETS 2. <laughs> no. Uh, that would be silly, you silly person. Um, but they're on about like Black Ops 2, GTA, um, and just all the other shoot 'em up games where they include violence and make you angry. And to be fair, this game makes me angry. I rage at this game sometimes. I think uh, everyone does. Um, especially the AI. The AI are the worst. Um, but yeah. Um, and I was thinking, it's not really the game that makes people bad. I mean, I find the games are brilliant. They, they, they have so many different benefits. They have some drawbacks, I think, with GTA and the whole drugs and, and guns and everything like that. It, 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 it does give sort of a bad uh, image, especially to younger people like that play it underage. Um, and it's like, well, you know, maybe they'll get the idea of, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and see if I can buy some drugs when I'm older and I'm going to... I'm gonna bang that hoe. <laughs> um, but it's like, yeah, let's just let's just punch this random guy, steal his car, and drive off. That sort of thing. Those games are bad in a way. They're fun because they're extremely funny to punch people and everything else. But when you're too young to play them, there is an age limit for a reason. When you're like, younger than that, there is a reason that it is that young. Like I just said, because you get you get sort of. Ideas easier. You get you get drifted aside and changed a little bit more easier when you're young. But when it comes to COD, I don't see anything bad in that game at all. Because for one, it's about the army, and you can't just go to the army. There's a lot of different training, and it's a lot stricter than people think. But it's actually the army isn't really that bad if you're a rebel, because the army chiefs and all that will put you in place. They'll tell you. They'll tell you what what the what the uh, what the rules are. And if you don't follow them, then you're stuffed, pretty much. So, you know, but it's like... Uh, th sometimes you see Call of Duty games who are like, Oh, yeah, no, we can't. They're, they're bad for young minds, and they're bad for people. Same as Battlefield and all the other shoot em up games um, that aren't sort of civilian-related, where you're shooting down civilians. Because, like, I just find Call of Duty to be great. It's good fun, it gets, like, your anger, um, and it's just good for everything else, like multitasking and stuff. I've seen plenty of... Um, I spent enough time on the internet to find plenty of different comics, strip things about like Call of Duty and why these games are brilliant and why the people that say they're bad are just idiots. But it's kind of most of it is actually right because you got your um, hand-eye coordination. That's one of them, and uh, so I guess that's the same with ETS. So I want to try and hook this onto ETS2. Whilst I've been talking all through that stuff, believe it or not, I have been thinking like two things. I swear I have like two brains or something. Because I'm thinking, how do I connect this to ETS2? Because this is an ETS2 commentary. I'm an ETS2 commentator. Um, if you figure that out, then well done. Um, and <coughs> uh, <laughs> and pretty much 
I just like to try and do that. But it's like, but yeah, I think about all that stuff. But back onto the subject of all these games, you've got your hand-eye coordination, which they do great at. You've got your, oh, what's it called? Um, your your reaction time. That is fairly important because obviously it's just if you've got slow reaction time, then you won't be great at driving, I guess. Um, you're just always on the ball, I guess. And then when it comes to with ETS2 and these truck simulator games, you've got these games, uh, I think I mentioned it in my last video when I talked about driving or whatever. Um, th this game adds more confidence to pe people that want to drive, because if you play these for a while, it's sort of like driver training, not quite as realistic, but it is still there. It is still allowing you to think of all the basic stuff, indicating, looking, um, what is it? Um, mirror signal maneuver and all of that stuff. Um, so it sort of it gives you all the more confidence when it comes to driving and stuff. You won't be great on ETS2 and all the other trucks at games because there's still realism that's not that's not there. Like if you like all the minor crashes, it's not you've not got such the severe penalties that you would have if you're in real life. Like if you crash into a car. Um, yeah, I know he's not gonna. I thought he was gonna go. Sometimes they go when there's a huge gap, and sometimes they don't. It's rather. I thought oh, I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna let him go, but he didn't go. But um, it's kind of like that. Um, these games. Some people, the idiots that say, "Ah, oh, these games are bad for you. You can't have these." Obviously, I think when it comes to the violence and things, hence why um, Call of Duty games. The Call of Duty games, I guess, on the multiplayer. I think the multiplayer is 18. Single player is 16. That's the Black Ops 1, I remember. I was installing the Moi player, and it said, you must be 18 to play the online. Um, and that one, I think, is mainly because you get dickheads on there. You get people that swear and and just everything. And it's kind of, you can see why they've got that, because you don't want little people playing on those games where there's a lot of negative conduct and stuff. Like, you've always, that you there's that pretty much every day, if you play it a lot, um, you'll find some raging little kid that's like, oh man, you're a noob with your thingy, and it's like, then just sort of some arguments flare, and then they all take the piss out of each other, and it's like, Sky, seriously? We're here to kill each other. We don't need to type it out as well. I mean, come on. At least focus on killing everyone, and not, not type it out. But then that's sort of the reason, I guess, which I think I mentioned in a very, very, very previous video, so I guess I can mention it in this one, um, why there isn't multiplayer on this game, as well as it's because multiplayer is incredibly complicated. Um, there would be it would be hard because you a lot of people would want um, private servers because otherwise you'll get the you'll get the I'm trying to think of a nice way to call these people but you'd get the idiots who just want to ruin everyone else's time on the game you'd get the idiots who just drive into everyone who just call everyone names and are just like ah you suck at this game with your little truck and things like that and and obviously that can take the fun right out of the game. Um, especially on multiplayer, which is kind of why, I mean, with Call of Duty, the multiplayer is not so bad, because, for one thing, you're killing everyone, so, it's not like everyone has to be nice to each other and be like, ah, oh, here you go, you can overtake this car so you don't crash into him. Or, yeah, no, just, you, you, by all means, take that trailer. It's not, it's not, I mean, even if it was like a, a real-life simulator, it'd be, you wouldn't get people like, ah, oh, you, or you wouldn't have to, ah, oh, I'll open the door for you, after you, sir. Um, you don't get people like that. And as much as sometimes they are rather annoying, I'll open the door for you. La, 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 la. But, um, but it's like on Black Ops, it's like, okay, I'm killing him and you can help. Okay. Damn it, I got killed. Brilliant. I'll go and kill him then. I'll go and just, I'll run off in that direction, you go off in that direction. And and, 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 and even if we see an enemy an enemy player, it's like, ah, oh, you know, let's just kill each other. We don't need to open the doors for each other or let each other pull out or, oh, why don't you use your indicators? God, for God's sake. But yeah. But that, that's just really strange, and I am really strange, from those of you that know me. Um, but yeah, um, so that's kind of why, I guess, there isn't multiplayer play on this, as well as the reason why it's incredibly complicated. And why the games are 18, but, oh god, what is that beep? I know that was something. Um, but it's kind of just like, now are we going to get that? I think for once I'm going to finish the whole delivery, and I ain't stopping! Okay, maybe I should have stopped. I should have stopped! <laughs> Um, <laughs> I ain't stopping. Wait, maybe I should have done. Whoops, let's just go back into that lane. Actually, if I go into that view, yeah, I've got to be in this lane. Damn it, second red light offence. I do try and stop at red lights, I just... I was waiting there for ages, and I don't like waiting, so... I was just like, nah, I'm, I ain't stopping, God. 
I'm going through if you like it or not, because that was, that was annoying. There was like a huge gap that that car could have gone through and he didn't go and then that made me wait and it made me angry. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, perfectly. Sort of stopped. Could have stopped a bit closer. But never mind. Right, anyway, so we've got zero minutes until we get there. We've got six, no, four, five, well, four hours, 55 minutes, five hours to actually get there. Why did they give us so long? Come on. I mean, uh, come on! Oh, it's just stopping at every traffic light. It's busy today. And I like that. I mean, it's kind of a, this is kind of ironic in a way, I think. You could call it ironic. I was on the SS Software Forum um, earlier, just before doing this, sort of half an hour before, I guess. And I was commenting on some posts, and one of them was about traffic. And I was like, I'd love more traffic on the game. And what do you know? We have traffic. Lots of it. In this city. And it's like, seriously? Let's just have a look at that. It's like... A lot. Ah, wait, he's going. Go. I must get through this set of... I'm not going to get through, am I? My truck's too slow. Come on, go. Blasted truck. Yes, we got through. Uh, as long as I can't see the lights when I... As long as I start to not see the lights. And these going in that nose, means I can undertake like so. And then, now I'm tempted to just try and do this really quickly and reverse in from the outside. But now nah, I'm going to do it nice and... <gasps> that was cleared. <laughs> I was like, just a deep breath in. That was close because I almost like, like almost skimmed my trailer on there. I don't want to scratch it because I have to pay for any damage. That'd be cool if that's the case. Okay, so you have a damaged trailer, you must pay for the repair. But it wasn't my fault. I don't care. You have to. Oh, damn. Because that was like with your own trailer, if you could buy your own trailer, and it said that. But um, anyway, so the delivery finished. Almost leveled up, so close um, to level 7. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please give it a rating. Um, I always enjoy to see those and the comments. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um